value trades. If you like to trade economic news events, you will know that one of the most prevalent market movers is a country's statistics on gross domestic product or GDP. The gross domestic product of an economic region is basically the measure of its economic activity, including all goods and services within its borders. The equation to calculate GDP is expenditure-based and looks like this. During a given period of time, GDP is the sum of consumer spending on goods and services, government investment and spending on goods and services, business investment and spending on goods, services and inventory, exports which left that region, then we deduct the value of imports entering that region. The final figure is then adjusted for inflation. The number itself is important, but more significant is the change from one period to the next. For example, if GDP decreases more than two quarters in a row, that economy is considered to be in recession. For traders, the percentage change is important as well. As with any economic news event, we see the published forecast in advance and typically, good numbers or bad numbers, that number will be priced into the market. Opportunities occur when the published figure is substantially different from the forecast. For example, here we have a situation where the gross domestic product for Canada was predicted to grow 0.2% and the previous period's growth was 0.2%. In reality, the figure was negative 0.1%. Not only was the figure wrong, it was a negative number versus a positive prediction. Here is what happened on the one-minute chart on $CAD. Price had been trending down all morning and the data was released. Price went counter-trend 47 pips within seconds and remained volatile for a couple of hours until it broke through this lower trend line and the downtrend was allowed to continue. Here we have a recording of the UK GDP which turned out quite a bit lower than analysts' predictions. 0.4% growth was predicted, but the real figure came out at 0.1%. Price dropped almost 70 pips in 60 seconds, and the spreads widened to 4 to 6 times their normal size. Under normal circumstances, with a bit of bad news, we would find a counter-trend move and look for a reversal. However, when the news is very bad, other factors may come into play. In this case, the market realized that with such poor growth in the UK economy, the next proposed interest rate rise might be postponed, thereby sending the pound weaker still. By the end of the day, sterling lost 100 pips against the euro, 150 pips against the US dollar, and 200 pips against the yen. Every country on the value trades economic calendar has its GDP figures published quarterly, except for Canada, which publishes monthly. Be aware that many economies publish different levels of GDP depending on the refinement of the figures. For example, the United States of America releases the advance, preliminary, and final GDP each one month apart. Advance is the first figure and affects the market more than the subsequent figures. The UK and Japan publish preliminary, second, and final, with preliminary being the most important. The European Union calls them preliminary flash GDP, flash GDP, and final GDP. Australia, Switzerland, Canada, China, and New Zealand have only one figure. It is also important to note that countries with a higher GDP will have a much greater effect on the markets, mostly the United States with $20 trillion versus that of Switzerland, say, with $0.7 trillion. The European Union as a whole is the second largest economy in the world between the US and China. Just to recap, Gross domestic product is basically a measure of the activity of an economic zone. When trading GDP, the difference between the actual figure and the predicted figure will drive the markets. When trading, larger economies' GDP figures will drive the markets more than that of smaller economies. That's all for now. Happy trading with Value Trades, and we will see you soon. CFDs and FX are leveraged products, and your capital may be at risk.